What's going on guys, Carmine here, and oh my god, that was one of the most intense episodes of Game of Thrones I think we've ever gotten. Ned Stark's execution and the Red Wedding were nothing compared to how intense this episode was, and I gotta say, I enjoyed a majority of it, and I was surprised a few times, especially with Jamie. but I will save my thoughts for the episode review on a second rewatch. However, I will say this here and now, for those of you who died this episode, actual name characters, not background extras, you guys had some good send-offs, all with the exception of one person, and I don't even need to tell you guys who the fuck I'm talking about, that was so dumb. But for now, let's focus on the final preview, uh, the final episode preview actually, and I must say, it is bittersweet. Following this show for almost 10 years, but this is it, the final episode. Before we start, be sure to hit that subscribe and bell button to stay notified with all my latest videos, but for now, let's get started. We start the preview with John Davos and Tyrion walking through the remains of King's Landing, and I gotta say, the set for this episode was on point. Destruction and chaos everywhere, and they did it beautifully. At first, throughout the preview, I was wondering, oh, it's snowing again. But no, that's actually ash raining down. Now, I'm kinda confused on the whole let's burn the city down shtick she's going for here. See, I... I really do feel like an asshole, and even on Twitter, I, I said, guys, she's not crazy, she's just frustrated. And someone even commented that tweet did not age well. No shit, it did not fucking age well, because I defended her. Like, you know, she's not crazy, she's just frustrated. Oh. Ooh, that, mm, never mind. And I also don't understand the point of continuously firing on the city. Like, what was that gonna accomplish? As well as the Dothraki charging in there and killing indiscriminately, but... Whatever, I, I want to say that perhaps Danny gave the order to kill them all regardless of the bells, because Tyrion kept rambling on about the bells to her, and I'm thinking she lightly gave the orders about the bells, you know, to her, to her allies, and to ignore them, and told them all to go crazy and just do whatever. We also see a shot of the Red Keep, still intact, but I'm sure the roof of the throne room has collapsed. If so, then it's in line with the vision we saw in the House of the Undying back in Season 2 that Danny also saw, where she walks through a destroyed throne room. We then cut to Arya watching what appears to be a victory celebration and likely a speech from Danny as the Dothraki and the Unsullied gather around. You can easily tell who the worst person and bad guy in the series is when Arya looks at them that way. Her Q rating for the show and a shout out from Drake means that she's top tier character status now for the series. If Arya looks at a puppy like that, you can bet that they wrote that puppy responsible for both the Holocaust and 9-11. And by the way, I'm just gonna say this now, the fact that Arya has incredible plot armor annoys me so, so damn much. At least with Jon Snow, swords and arrows don't harm him, but Arya, uh, debris, fire, hordes of people stomping on her spine don't even stop her. I, I wouldn't be surprised if the last scene of this entire series is Arya getting a raven from Nick Fury about the Avengers initiative. And next we have Tyrion who follows in, cautious and pissed off as the Dothraki all raise their weapons in a cheer while Danny walks in flanked by Unsully. So the Im imagery here is clear. She burned them all, just like her father, the Mad King, wanted. I also need to call back to something Varys told Elena and about Littlefinger back in Season 3, about how Littlefinger would see the country burn if he could be King of the Ashes. Well, it turns out that includes Daenerys as well, I guess. And... Once again, I, I'm, I'm also getting ahead of myself, but her snapping like that came out of nowhere. I, I, the one thing I'm curious about for the, for the next episode is how she justifies killing innocent people, how she, just, just, how she justifies destroying a city that her ancestors built, and how she justifies killing enemy soldiers for what their queen did. It's going to be an interesting next episode, and I gotta say, I didn't expect Daenerys to be our final endgame boss. Our hidden boss, if you will. I was completely okay with a crazy pregnant woman and her pirate boyfriend being, like, the main villains. But I guess, you know, I don't know what to make of this. If it's irony, cliche, or bad writing that Daenerys turns out to be our final endgame villain, if you will. Especially with the way Arya looked at her. Did you know she's up for the Avengers initiative? I don't know if you guys knew that. And before we wrap this up, I want to give a big thank you to today's sponsor, Throne Kingdom at War. If you're a fan of Game of Thrones, then you'll love this free-to-play strategy game that challenges you to rise up, call your banners, and take control of the ultimate seat of power. Whether it's customizing your hero to lead the charge, building up your castles and towns, or taking the fight to your enemies, there's never a dull moment here. And if you're a fan of those old-timey RPG and strategy games from the 90s like Final Fantasy or even Diablo, then you'll feel right at home here. It's free to play right now, and if you're not in the habit of downloading anything to your phone or tablet, they've got you covered. You can take up the fight online through your web browser, and because of that, there's nothing to patch or install or any other hassle. Play the way you want with millions of other players. I'll leave a link in the description below, definitely check them out, it'll really help out the channel. Most importantly, 
Get on there and claim what is rightfully yours. Well guys, that is it for today. I might do a first impressions video. I'm leaning towards it, so if I do upload one, then definitely be sure to check that out. Also, please do let me know what you thought of the episode. Did you like it? Did you not? Leave your thoughts down below. Be sure to follow me on Twitter so you can join me for a live discussion on all things Game of Thrones. Follow me on Instagram so we can share some great memes together, and be sure to subscribe and hit that bell button to stay notified of all future videos. But once again, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Have a good one.